Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I'm going to be installing a new PCIe LAN card into my main PC here, Black Mesa, as well as setting up a gigabit Ethernet switch. Just to give you guys some backstory, recently I've been having some issues with my internet. First, it started off with my internet just kind of slowing down over wired connections where I was getting really slow speeds on wired, but when I would put it over to the Wi-Fi, I would get over like my full bandwidth and sometimes even faster than what my full bandwidth is supposed to be which is 150 megabit up and down. So over the Wi-Fi, I was still getting that full speed, but when I was going on a wired connection, I'd get like 100 megabit up and about 30 megabytes down, so it was really odd. Um, and then altogether, the internet just stopped working over Ethernet to my main PC, but the slowdown issue still persisted over to my second PC, so I really was kind of at a loss there. And what it came, what it came up uh, down to being is actually two problems at once. At least that's my theory right now is I'm, I'm hoping it's just the PCI, uh, the, the LAN port on the motherboard. I'm, I'm pretty sure the LAN port on my motherboard has gone bad, but also at the same time, I was having some issues with the cables that I had been using previously as well, because I was seeing the slowdown on two PCs, as I mentioned there. So it could have been an electrical interference, or maybe the cables had gotten damaged or something, because I, I do have like 100 uh, foot LAN cables running through the basement from my router out into the main PC here. So this is going to help uh, hopefully fix that, fix the, be able to get a wired connection to my main PC here so I'm not connected over Wi-Fi on a desktop PC. And then I'm gonna have the gigabit LAN switch so that I'll be able to connect my two PCs actually to just the one connection here because I've also got my test system in here as well. And I've been having like one on wired and one on Wi-Fi. And I just decided to, you know what, we're gonna get new cables and everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and sort out everything all in one go. So I just ordered all this stuff over on Amazon so that I can get the networking issues sorted out here. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be walking you guys through the steps of installing the Gigabit PCIe LAN card for any of you guys that are maybe just stopping by because you are looking for information about that and you've never done something like this before, installing a new piece of hardware into a PC. So we're gonna go over some general safety guidelines and tips as I install this PCIe LAN card. So when you are installing a new piece of hardware, one of the first things you wanna make sure you do is with any piece of hardware inside a PC, unless it's just something over USB, is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you go ahead and have your PC powered down all the way. And not only that, you're gonna also wanna make sure you do disconnect your power supply. So first, usually I'll go ahead and flip off the power switch on my main power supply, and then I'll go ahead and press the button a couple times just to make sure that the power is completely drained out of the PC. And then you can go ahead and safely disconnect the power supply cable that should be around the back side of your PC, unless you have it all pulled out already then, in which case it's probably already unplugged. All right, so now that we got our system all powered down, we're gonna go ahead and get our hardware out and ready for installation. Um, also make sure that you do get the right gigabyte LAN, gigabit LAN card if you are going to be installing this. I actually made a mistake and ordered a PCI LAN card at first, so that was my own bonehead mistake when I needed a PCI LAN card because I'm using an X99 motherboard and all of my slots are PCIe, so I kind of made that bonehead mistake. So don't be like me and make sure that you are ordering the right LAN card ahead of time. Thankfully, these things aren't too expensive, so I'm just going to hang on to it anyway. I believe this one was $8, and the PCIe one was $12 over on Amazon, and I will link to all of this stuff down in the description below. If you are needing to pick up a PCI LAN card or a gigabit switch for your home network, then you can go ahead and do that. And I also got a six-pack of these flat patch cables. These are three foot long, which I'm going to be running from um, the Netgear switch into, the, into both of the PCs. And then the cable under the house is actually another flat cable, which is a CAT 6E. And that is, uh, that's 100 feet long, and that was only $16. So still a pretty good price on that. The, the, the LAN cables have, uh, Ethernet cables have really come down in price uh, quite a bit. So the hardware setup is, is gonna be pretty straightforward here. We just have just a basic PCI LAN card right here, P or PCIe, I should say. There's our PCIe LAN card right there. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Don't be like me, don't touch the gold connectors. If you wanna be extra safe, you can go ahead and use like a, a wrist strap or something like that to ground yourself personally. Uh, it's not something I ever did, I ever do, and I'm wearing socks right now on a carpet. It's not something I advise anyone to do. But uh, again, you know, I, I, I kind of, I like to break away from the mold of what other people do. So yeah, just, but, but, but don't be like me. I'm, I'm also the idiot that made the mistake of ordering a PCI card instead of PCIe, so yeah. And here's our uh, Netgear switch. These things have a lifetime warranty, which I'm glad about because I had a TP-Link one before this and that thing shit the bed inside of six months. So now I've got this guy right here, nice metal housing, super strong, 
lifetime warranty. This thing should last me probably forever since it does have a lifetime warranty. And this was not sent to me by Netgear. They're not sponsoring this video. This is something I bought by myself on Amazon. Uh, this gigabit switch right here, you can get for, I believe it's $33 on Amazon. And I got that free shipping with Prime and everything. If you guys want to pick one up, once again, links will be in the description below. We're just kind of throwing hardware around here haphazardly as you do. So before you get your PCIe card slotted in, you do want to make sure that you do remove one of the rear PCI slots. You can see I already removed one down here at the bottom because I'm aiming to go into this slot right here, um, the second one up from the bottom. I could go into one of the long slots or the short slots. It really doesn't matter um, with with this with a, this particular motherboard and this layout with a PCIe card. It's going to be able to do gigabit over either one of those um, more than sufficiently. So I'm just going into one of the short ones because I think it'll make a pretty good layout. And I also did make sure to get a black PC, um, PCB. Um, one with this rose bill so that it will match my black mesa build. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed now. All right, so we got our PCIe LAN card installed now. It was really easy, just went ahead and popped it right in and then screwed it into place so that it does stay right there, right into our PCIe slot. I'm gonna go ahead now and hook up the gigabit switch so that I can run the cable from that into the new PCIe card. And then we'll probably have to go ahead and download some drivers on the Rosewell website, who are the makers of this particular LAN card. So go ahead and do that now. All right, so I'm back now at the main PC. I just booted it up and I didn't have to do anything. The thing was literally just, as soon as I booted it up, it was connected to the ethernet right away. I just started OBS so that I can go ahead and record this and show it to you guys because it was instantly connected to the ethernet cable. I didn't have to get any drivers off of the Rosewell website. So it was just plug and play with this particular PCI card and my motherboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a quick speed test now and see how it does over the ethernet because I do have it plugged into that gigabit switch and it looks like it is doing very well. We can see it right here. It's already going up to 152 down. Let's, see, let's go ahead and get some of this action here so you guys can see it. There we go, that should be focused for you guys. So you can see there we got 151.2 megabit per second on the download, and it looks like it's coming at 163.8 on my upload with a seven millisecond latency to New York, New York, which is the nearest Google server that this is able to ping to. So I guess we can go ahead and chalk that up as a problem solved, yeah? I think I think the problem is definitely solved. Got it, over the, got it on that gigabit ethernet switch and everything is running at 100%, so this is exactly what I wanted, and I'm glad that I was able to uh, solve this here right on, on live for you guys, because otherwise otherwise this, this video would have gone nowhere. I mean, if I didn't solve this, let, let's be honest, this video would not have seen the light of day. I would have had to just swallow my pride and accepted, hey, Joker, maybe you're not the masterful hardware and networking guru that you thought you were. No, I'm kidding. I am not a network guru by any means. I'm a hardware guy. Network is not my forte, so... Yeah, if there was any like misinformation in this video and you're like a super networking guy then and you want to correct me down in the comments below then you know what you can go right ahead but I, I think I think we did pretty good here today and uh, yeah if, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this in the future go ahead and leave a like on it and let, leave a comment down below um, and if maybe if you need any help if you're installing a PCI land card or PCIe land card yourself and you have any questions maybe it's something I didn't cover here in this video then uh, I can answer you down in the comments but otherwise I'll catch you guys next time. Tara. And once again, if you do want to pick up any of the hardware that I used in this video for setting this up, whether it be the gigabit switch or the cables or anything like that, I will link to all of that down in the description below over on Amazon.